All right, so the motherboard on my A7 III, I think, went out. So I ordered one online here, and we're gonna try to switch it out and see if it works. Um, there's a few videos online that kind of uh, showed how to do this, but I didn't do specifically the motherboard, and I thought I'd try to do a video myself. What I'm gonna do, so we have some tools here, some dental tools, because my friend's wife is a dental hygienist, and then a little screwdriver kit here. Um, and I, you can see here what I did is I just like drew a diagram of each part of the camera. So I take the, the, the uh, screws off. What I'm gonna do is just put each screw where it goes. So when I put it back together, I'll use the right screws for every hole. I imagine most of them are the right same size, but uh, we'll see what happens. So if I can do this and this works in the end, that you can do this because I'm exceptionally uh, not talented with any of this stuff. For example, this right here, this eyepiece needs to come off. I don't know how to take it off. And I actually need to look it up last night how to take it off. So anyways, when you take the eyepiece off, like you push out on both of these clips here and you push down and it comes off just like that. So anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna set those in the eight spots here. And then we'll start the video back up after that. Okay, so this is what the bottom looks like after it's taken off. As you see, I still left this screw here. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure in the order of everything. Uh, here we have all the screws down on the uh, graph we made and the metal plates that came off there. Um, and then I'm about to move to the side here. You can see it here. I drew another graph here. As you can see, there's four screws. One two, three, and four. I'm not sure if this screw here is needed to take out. So what I'm gonna do is start by doing these three. If I need to do this one, I'll mention it later on in the video, but we'll get to that. So I got the three screws removed. I'm actually happy we're doing the graph because if you can see, I don't know, it's really small down here. The middle screw is probably about half the height as these two. So I'm going to need to hopefully not bump the table too hard. And remember that middle screw will go in the middle spot, otherwise it might not work. And next we're going to go to the opposite side where the slots are. And it looks like there's two screws that are removed there. And then we'll move to the eyepiece after that. Okay, those two screws are removed. we we'll put them down here. Next we're going to do the eyepiece. There's four around it. And then the wheel here has one in the center and we'll put it down there and hopefully this slides out after that. So we'll see. Okay, so we have the side screw I didn't take out. What I'm gonna do is just take it out just in case. I don't think it'll hurt anything. And then also I never took this bottom one out. I'll take that out as well. Um, I have all these out, but the focus wheel, I'm gonna finish getting that one out and I'll see if this pulls out. Um, if not, then we'll continue to work on the rest of them. So I'll work on those to start. All right, so I took all the four screws out here, the focus wheel screw out. It kind of is moving, but I don't know how that all works yet. So I'm not gonna mess with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this screw out right inside here underneath the screen. And I'm gonna go inside the battery compartment and there's a screw down in here that I'm gonna take out. And after that, um, we'll move to taking screws out along the grip here. I'll do those two screws and see what we have after that. Okay, so ended up taking the screw out behind the screen here. Um, that was also another small screw. So right now we have small screw and it's marked for the screen and then the small screw over here on the side with the three doors. And then also took the screw out from the bottom of the battery spot here. So now I'm gonna use one of these fine tools, hopefully, and peel off this grip here, because I believe there's two screws here and here that I'll need to take off. If that goes well, then hopefully I'll be able to take off this whole back piece afterwards. We'll see, I'll let you know. So what I got here was a flat edge tool, and I just put it in this corner here, kind of worked my way around sliding it around here. Try not to be too rough with it, but I'm gonna peel this all off and then get those screws. So 
It actually isn't on that tight, which maybe is alarming, I don't know. But it's pretty simple to peel this off, so stay tuned. So here's the small silver screw here and here. What I'm actually going to do is not peel this all the way off because I hope that it goes back on neatly the way it was. And hopefully I won't need to take any more screws off in here. So I'm just going to hold this up and take these out. So we ended up getting those two silver screws out here and I've been prying it along. I've gotten it all the way out pretty much. It seems like I didn't need to take anything more out from the side here. So I didn't peel that entire grip off. Um, and I'm starting just to work it up with the same tool that I used for that rubber grip on the side. But um, I'm looking in here and it looks like there might be a ribbon. So taking this off, I would just suggest being careful. There's probably a ribbon somewhere along the top here that will need to be carefully taken out. So, okay, so it's loose. I'm gonna flip it up where I think that ribbon is, which is there. I'll end up loosening that and pulling it out and get to work on the motherboard here. Okay, so all these ribbons I'm gonna work on getting out. Um, don't know a lot about all this stuff, but it looks like, so for instance, this ribbon here, you can see on each side it has these little notches. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in between that and the notch and use it to push it up. I'm gonna rock back and forth on it until it comes out, hoping that I don't break it. And I'll do that with all the ones that seem to have the notches and the other ones I think will come out in a different type of way. Okay, so I use this here. It's a really thin edge. I don't know if you can see it there. And um, what I did was there's this, see how this has a little black strip here? This one here had a black strip here and I slid it underneath it and flipped it up. It did a little pop, which was scary. I don't want to mess with it, um, but I'm hoping it didn't break. Um, we'll know later if it did break when I try to put it back together, but for now we're gonna try to pull this out and see if the eyepiece comes out. Okay, it took us a little bit to make sure we weren't breaking anything, but these little brown, uh, gray rubber pieces are like clamps holding these on. So what I do is I have that same really thin tool and I'm taking it right on the board here. I'm pushing gently and it's flipping this piece. You see this piece moving? I don't know if you can see it there, but if you can, that goes up. And then after it goes up, these come out pretty easily. You won't be able to force them out if you don't do that. So that is that. Okay, so I have these three out here. What I need to do here is I pulled this clear tape back and how I thought I broke, made it broke this black one. I didn't, I just did the same thing with this black clamp here and it uh, made the same noise. So either I'm breaking them all or they're all coming out and then I'll just pull this out as well and we'll keep going. So I have these three, this one, got a few here. I'm going to take off this conductive tape, the microphone jack here, and we'll go from there. All right, so I took the conductive tape off the bottom to expose these here. These two had clips. This one, I'm not sure how it comes off yet. I might just need to work on the edges side to side. Um, there are some black strips of tape I'm going to make sure to put back on there. And this conductive tape, I want to keep it as good as possible so I'm trying not to get it too sticky because I'll need to put it back on and underneath here there's the ones with the tabs that we were talking earlier if you push on side to side they will gradually come out over time so these this doesn't have a clip and this one doesn't have a clip either so we'll work on those okay I ended up taking the eyepiece out here I'm gonna take this top off of the camera this whole top piece off in order to take that off, it turns out I'm gonna to need to peel this off. So what I'm gonna to need to do is take out four silver screws. One is down underneath this three. That's not this one, this is the microphone screw. I'll take that out in a second. Down inside there is a silver screw. There's another silver screw, two of them, one on each side of here. And another silver screw down right beside this thing here, right in there. And then after that, there is a black screw here and a black screw 
back here that I'll take out. So I'll need to peel this off more than I wanted to. So I will do that and see if the top comes off. So I took the top off, thing to note. Once again, there was two small screws. All the black screws have been regular, but the one that came out from this part here and the one that came out from inside here were both smaller black screws. Now what we're gonna do is peel off this black adhesive tape Take off the microphone jack. I think that'll be preventing the motherboard from coming out. And there's two ribbon cables that have the notches on the side. I'll work those out. And that goes just as I explained. Um, we will then work on the next steps. Okay, so turns out it doesn't look like this microphone port needs to be ejected. It's really not connected to the motherboard. I did pull out both of these and I slipped this side plastic piece off. So now what we're gonna do is come from the top. There's a Wi-Fi cable here that I'll probably just pop out. Oh, this pops out easily, I guess. It's actually like a, hard to explain. This, this is a circle that goes over the other side there. Um, so it just goes on top of a hole in that. So now what I'll do is I'll get this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and this one. Looks like there's five. Um, we'll see if there's any more. And then this should be loose. And what I'll do is I think there's just two ribbons on the bottom we'll need to take out. This one's attached to the bottom still, or maybe this one is. This one's attached. There's one over here. So I'm gradually lift this up and try to get any ruins that are still attached. Okay, so we got the whole motherboard off. It was kind of sticky, so it popped off a little bit. Got it finally. Did get to leave the headphone jack in there. Um, obviously, the first part of this whole thing was nerve wracking just because I'm not used to doing anything like this. So this next part won't be nerve-wracking, but I imagine this will be the worst for time-consuming. Putting these back in is really tough. So, um, you know what we're doing? We're just going to do everything in reverse now. Just putting these back in one at a time. I got one in. Took forever. Two more on the bottom, which hopefully those will be easier. Not easier. <laughs> hopefully these three will be the hardest. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so from now on, obviously, it seems like it's some common sense. Um, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do. My old board had a heat conductor or a heat dispenser pad here. I might try to peel it off and put it back there. Um, pulled all these through. There was obviously this big one here, two small ones underneath the black wire. These two small ones need to get pulled through here. So I connected those three. I did it in the order of this one. So I held it up on its side with this part facing down and going this way. I put this one in. This one actually slid right in. And then I did the one far over here last. That's underneath over here. So what we'll do now is hopefully put the rest of these in. There's only a billion more. Hopefully it goes easy and everything works. If not, um, this is how you do it. I, I assume this is how you do it. I will never know if it doesn't work afterwards, but um, I don't know if I'll make another video after this because everything seems self-explanatory. Unless I run into a problem. Good luck, people. Okay, so it's all back together. We're extremely nervous. Got a battery. Before we see if it works, and you get my rage if it doesn't on camera. One thing to note is the silver screw that went in the top right over here, it goes way down deep in there, was an extreme pain in the butt. This is not a magnetic screwdriver, but there's something inside there that's magnetic that kept sucking the screws in. So, here we go. I'm scared because I don't think it's going to work. Oh my gosh, <laughs> praise the Lord. So 
as we thought the camera was fixed but there's a couple things we wanted to mention um that screen that had all the asian languages unfortunately that's all that there was i contacted sony and wrote them and called them and they said that they couldn't do anything to make the camera in english so i needed to send that part back i bought it from someone in ohio um, and then what we did was we went on to ecompass.com and I wrote them and I said, hey, is this motherboard gonna be an English motherboard? They said it was, so ordered it, took out the old one, put in the new one, and that one actually worked. And then secondly, after taking this part off, the part that needed to peel off, uh, the second time it kind of started to stick not as well. So what we did was we just took a hair blower and like got it hot, you know, re-got all the adhesive warm and then it stuck a little bit better, so. But I'm Simon. And I'm DJ. And we're the creators of Cinematic Feel. So if you like this video, if it was helpful or anything, feel free, please subscribe. And also we just finished our first cinematic video. We're really excited to be putting out more of those. So if you would check that out, just go to our videos and check it out. It's a 4K Kawhi cinematic. It's like no poly coast and stuff. So we would love your support. Um, subscribe to us, like our video, tell us your thoughts. And thanks. Thanks a lot. And I'm going to try to put a link to the video right here. And if not, you're going to need to go to the video. So, all right. See ya.